Hi, Fix It Tony here. Uh, today's video is uh, going to be to replace the battery in a key fob. Specifically, this is a Chrysler key fob. Uh, Jeeps will have the same key fob, just a different logo. Uh, multi button remote. Uh, this is for a Chrysler Pacifica 2018. But if the key fob looks like this, uh, regardless of your make and model of your car, the technique is going to be the same. So the first thing you need to do is remove the valet key or the security key. This is the key that helps you get into the car when the key fob battery dies. And you're going to use the key to open up this back cover. This back cover right here separates right at this juncture with the chrome trim. And it's going to start opening from the end where the key key inserts to the back. You'll take the key, one of the edges of the key, and you're going to find the groove that's between the lid and the, um, the midsection. And you're going to stick the key in and you're going to twist it up. And then once you kind of hear and feel a release, you're going to be able to pull this up. And then you just pull this up. Now, it's going to feel like it's breaking, but because this is the first time that it's been removed, it's going to be a little tough. And then it just pops right off. And then keep that aside, uh, on the side. Now, you're going to take, a, take note, importantly to take note, that the positive terminal faces up. So the writing and the battery type all faces up. You're going to get a small flat blade slotted screwdriver and you're going to use the little crevice little crack little insertion point and you're going to wiggle it up and then flip it up and then you can see what happens it just pops right up it's a CR 2032 uh, I wouldn't buy just I would definitely recommend buying a good quality battery uh, this is not one that you want to cheap out on so then you just now the battery is going to slide beneath this sort of cover here. It's not going to slide straight down. You're going to need to insert it on an angle, 20, uh, for a 45 degree angle underneath this little trim here. And then you're going to pop it in. And then now it's in. And the process is just reverse. Start, the in, start putting the cap back on from this end of the key fob. I guess that'd be considered the top if you're holding it. and line up everything and squeeze together. And then you can reinsert and everything is good to go. Thank you very much for watching this video. If this is your first time to my channel, please subscribe and like and uh, welcome any comments. Thank you, bye.